welcome to battle number two of week number two of the FNF Orberg Gate Draft League preseason. This battle is going to be pitting Drizzle Boys team, which is Croatian Bidoofs, versus Morgana's team, which is Northern Necrozma's. As a reminder, the Mega, po uh, sorry, the Z Pokemon available in this battle is Bidoof with Z any privilege on um, uh, Croatian Bidoofs, and then uh, Haunter with Z any privilege and Gabite with Z attack privilege on Northern Necrozma's. This is going to be pretty interesting considering we have Bidoof appearing in this battle. Actually, we haven't seen Drizzle Boy use his team yet because he couldn't do his battle last week. And um, so we don't know what he's going to use, but this is going to be an interesting lineup. Looks like Bidoof will have the ability to maybe set up. The question is going to be when, when he's going to be able to set up. Pukabuku looks like it'll be interesting versus set up Pokemon. Magmar is going to be pretty interesting as well. And on Morgana's team, Kling Kling actually looks like it could be really good if it gets up a shift gear. It could deal a lot of damage to quite a few things. Um, not as much Pukumuku, I'd say, unless it has Wild Charge. Um, Jigglypuff is here. Hopefully Jigglypuff will be able to show us what it's got. And uh, Haunter is also here being able to maybe come in on a high jump kick from Metatite or scare off Metatite with Shadow Ball coming in on a quick attack from Bidoof. So Haunter will have some utility too. And let's just jump in and see how this match goes. I'm guessing Onyx will be a lead to set up Stealth Rock maybe. Actually Ash sucks the Pikachu is the lead and then maybe Gabite? Clang, Midgar the Clang is going to be the lead for Morgana's team. Playing is going to switch out into Gabite, though Baby Gunkerton. And Pikachu is going to go for that Thunderbolt. Gabite is immune and can now go for an Earthquake if it so desires. Hone Claws is actually going to be the move that Gabite decides to use. And Pikachu is going to go for a Hidden Power. Hidden Power takes it down. Yeah, you don't really want to set up versus Pikachu. You just want to kill it as fast as possible. Most likely it's holding a Light Ball and will hit really hard. <clears throat> so the score is now 6-5. Haunted the Haunter is going to come in. And in comes Rusty the Bidoof. Pain Split is going to actually do almost nothing to Bidoof. And Haunter is now burned as well. This is a really interesting Haunter set. <laughs> Hunter goes for a trick to change Flame Orb for Choice Specs. And a Shadow Ball is going to do decent damage, also reducing Haunter's special defense. But now Haunter does have Choice Specs, so if it has Sludge Bomb, it can go to town if it so desires. But it actually decides to switch out into Timber, Rain the Timber. And another Shadow Ball is going to hit Rain, dealing only 18% damage. Not a lot of damage. And in comes You Look Familiar, the Metatite, to take that uh, Thunder Punch from Rain. It's going to do 45%. I'm guessing he was calling out that switch into Pukamuku. Billy Talent, the Hound Hour, comes in. And Bulk Up is actually going to be the, the move that Metatite decides to go for. Houndour can hit hard on the special side. Psycho Cut is not going to work because Metatite's dark typing. Uh, sorry, uh, Houndour's dark typing. And Houndour is going to go for a Destiny Bond. Yet another Bulk Up is going to allow Metatite to power up even further. And Billy Talent goes for the Dark Pulse, taking down Metatite. The score is now 5-5. Five, five. In comes Ash Sucks the Pikachu yet again. And a Surf is going to take down Houndour. Pikachu does have really nice coverage with Surf. Haunted the Haunter is going to come in 
it may be able to outspeed Pikachu. Indeed it does. The Destiny Bond from Haunted is going to allow it to try and take Pikachu down with it. Pikachu goes for the Thunderbolt, taking Haunter down and going down in the process due to Destiny Bond. And the score is now 4-3. Looks like Morgana is running some really like gimmicky sets with this one. A lot of Destiny Bonds I've seen. Um, definitely like surprising me with what he's trying to run. Uh, Charmeleon 2.0, the Magmar is going to come out to face a Midgar. And Charmeleon 2.0 actually goes for a substitute. Midgar staying in, pretty gutsy. Midgar going for the Thunder Wave. It's not going to hit through the substitute though. And Belly Drum is going to allow Charmeleon to uh, raise its attack to maximum level. And that Salak Berry is also going to allow it to uh, raise its speed. The Volt Switch is going to hit but not break through that substitute. And it looks like Clutch Box, the Jigglypuff, is going to come out. This Charmeleon 2.0 is looking very scary behind that substitute with all that uh, stat boosts going on. And a Fire Punch is going to take down Jigglypuff. What will be able to take down this Magmar boosted all the way with that Belly Drum? Midgar comes out. And another Fire Punch takes down Midgar. The last Playmon standing is Timba uh, Timber. But even with Eviolite and Max Defense, I don't know if Timber could take a Fire Punch from this Magmar. Rain comes out. Mock Punch is going to get rid of that substitute. But Charmeleon 2.0 still stays standing. And the Fire Punch is going to take down Rain. And that is a 4-0 score for Drizzle Boy's team, which is Croatian Bidoof's over Morgana's team. That uh, Magmar was really surprising, actually. Usually you see special Magmars, but with that substitute up, it was able to prevent itself from being Thunder Punched and picked off from the Mock Punch. And then Belly Drum activated that Salak Berry and allowed it to go to town with Fire Punch. Wondering what that last move was, but really intense set. Uh, one of those sets that it's like, it's really hard to make it work, but once it works, it works really well. And it worked really well. So that was the game. Tune in for some more Week 2 matches of the Orberg Gate Draft League coming to you soon. This is Noel from My Cornet. See you then.